Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to be asking a series of questions about the vertebrae and in the description I'm going to put a list of terms you should be familiar with before you even attempt to watch this video. So first question is, what type of vertebrae is this? So this is a lumbar vertebrae. What type of vertebrae do we see here? This is a thoracic vertebrae. And if you're not sure why you should know that's lumbar and why you should know that's thoracic, check out my video about the vertebrae um, and see if that can clear up for you. If not, just ask. So this whole thing, same as this whole thing here, it is the transverse process. So you have two transverse processes and one spinous process. We call the whole the vertebral foramen. What type of vertebrae am I looking at here? Still a lumbar vertebrae. What do we call this whole thing sticking up? It is the superior articulating process because to articulate means to join and it is going to articulate, it's gonna join with the vertebrae above it. On the superior articulating process is a flat surface. The flat surface is called the facet. What type of vertebrae are we seeing here? This is a cervical vertebrae, and we can tell because of this hole, well, these both of these holes, and the holes are called the transverse foramen because they're in the transverse processes. And last but not least, what are we looking at here? This whole vertebrae is called the atlas. It is the first cervical vertebrae, and you can tell the atlas because one, it doesn't have a spinous process coming off the back like the rest of them. Two, it's got holes in the side, which tells you it's cervical. And three, it's got these little curved cups, and those little curved cups are going to articulate with the occipital condyles at the base of your skull. All right, I think that's all the questions I have for you today. Hope you feel great about what you know. Have a good day and have fun learning.